Okay, so PlayStation 1. I've been looking forward to doing this video. Uh, I've, uh, I've got a fondness for PlayStation. In 94, I went up to the official Sony headquarters in Weybridge to see the unveiling of the PlayStation. And they had the, uh, the dark blue PlayStation there, um, the uh, sort of development PlayStation. And uh, they were playing, I'm sure the games were uh, Battle Arena to Shinden, uh, Destruction Derby and Ridge Racer, I think, were the games that they were showing off there. And they were talking to us about it and nobody had seen the PlayStation before. And it was, it was a really early look. Uh, and, it, and it's a great console and obviously some amazing games came out on it. Right, let's have a look. So, if we try... Uh, I'm going to leave Dave Mirror till the last, the best till last. Uh, so let's just do some in order that works. So demolition race it. Whoa. This feels really fast. Uh, you can see it says 50 frames a second. Little twitchy. Oh, wrong way. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna go. Oh, my fire's gone out. <laughs> That's handy. me gone right so let's try another game uh, Gran Turismo 2 behaves a bit well let's try it a bit it behaves a bit strangely let's try not to hit something I'll change my view that one so the collision thing Okay, it doesn't mind that. But if I go, look, you see it's really, really wobbly. I don't know what affects the, right, let's see if I can crash into something fast. And I'll show you what I mean, what happens. Whee! <laughs> so I don't quite know, it's like a kind of rubber band thing where it just goes a bit crazy. That was what I was trying to demonstrate. So something's wrong with it, but uh, so let's try a different game. Uh, so ISS was a brilliant football game on PlayStation. Uh, still one of the best ones, really good multiplayer. So we're going to options. So there's no frame skip on. Uh, if we go down here, so I've turned off dithering, dynamic recompiler. Uh, this has stayed the same. Uh, I turned off enhanced resolution and the speed hacks. Uh, I put on the FPS so you can see that. So it's that's you can make PlayStation games look a lot better, um, but without overclocking, I don't think it's it's ready for it. And this could be because it's early builds. These are the nightly builds of Lacquer or RetroArch. Now hopefully, hopefully my joystick settings have yeah, stayed. I've changed them over to FIFA because I'm used to playing FIFA on the Xbox. So at least I know that it, it was the opposite for kick, uh, for long kick and shoot before. I think this is probably one of the first games that had a decent through ball and a lofted through ball, which which is really good for football games. Rather than passing directly to a player, uh, it was nice that you had that that lofted kick uh, through ball. Right. Oh, that's a bit bit too keen for him. But it's not the through ball is not as. You know, FIFA would be very accurate as to where that through ball would go. ISS is 
quite wide where it's going to put it. Oh, it's good. Oh, that was in the pass I was hoping for. Maybe it's because he was in the box. Come on then. It's really difficult. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. I can't remember what the crossing system's like. No. Oh, a bit too keen. Like all the wrongly spelt names, look, Beckham. Oh, nice back here, that. Unfortunately, it was a bit ambitious. Anyway, so that's ISS. Uh, still as enjoyable as I remember it. It is just a great game. Oh. Twisted Metal World Tour. Um, this I've got on a promo disc uh, from back when I used to work in a Sony Center. We used to get sent the promo disc through for the games, and they were the full games. Uh, and I ripped this using uh, Image Burn, uh, and I've done this uh, only yesterday. Um, I went I went through, my son's got a load of old PlayStation 1 games in his room, uh, and I went through them and, uh, and ripped a few to disc just to try out. And, um, and, it, and it ripped fine. Uh, it used to be much more difficult back in the day to, uh, to make backups of your games. But I'll show a little bit of the end of Image Burn because it's a way of, because uh, I've got a lot of backup discs and I've got a lot of original discs, uh, and because RetroArch uh, likes bin and queue files for PlayStation discs, not all the backups that I had would work. Um, so I've used that conversion system and it works fine. Let's go with that one. The triangle would be these sort of afterburners, turbo. Oops, someone's after me. Oh, Parappa the Rapper. Uh, I've also got this on a promo disc, and uh, oh, years ago we stayed up really late, a load of us playing this, and uh, got onto some really quite far levels on. It gets really difficult as time goes on. Now, hopefully the audio won't, won't get a copyright strike because it's more uh, music-based. And I'm playing this on an Xbox controller, so um, the, all the buttons are different. Well, they're in the right place, but uh, they're labelled up differently, but I should remember enough of a PlayStation controller to be able to do it. <laughs> so just a great game, worth trying. Um, Right, so save the best till last. Pretty much my favorite game of all time, although I do prefer the Dreamcast version, uh, which I might get to. Um, I haven't tried Dreamcast on Lacquer yet, uh, but I've got a load of games to try. I play Dreamcast on Nvidia Shield, and it works really well on that um, with uh, ReDream, but uh, that's, I don't think that's available through RetroArch. So I'm gonna need to turn off the music on this, but it's an excellent soundtrack. And I usually play Dave Mirror Remix, which I've got on original, but I had this on uh, a backup disc, and uh, I thought oh, I'll try and rip this just to see how different it was using that Image Burn program. 
and uh, and it works fine. For some reason it gets stuck here, but then it does go past it. I don't know why it takes so long for that bit. And when you see the frames per second, uh, some of the frames per second show up as 25, which I think this game does. It is just how the game was originally. This is trying to run it as, as close to as possible uh, to the original. Just realized I was playing it with the music on. I better turn that off. So Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX is just a great version. Um, and it works really well. The graphics aren't, aren't the best, but, uh, but the gameplay is, is just brilliant. Really, really good. Uh, really enjoyable, really good challenges as well, really quite difficult to play. Um, that was nice. Oh, didn't quite come off as I expected. <laughs> okay, so in my uh, soon I hope to be doing Dreamcast, um, and uh, I've put all my Dreamcast ROMs on uh, a USB stick. So if I scan that directory, I'm just scanning in my directories because I put on some Dreamcast games. I'm not going to do them in this video. And I had Crash Racing, uh, which my son had on a disc in his room, but unfortunately it just, it, it does crash. Actually, let's try it, shall we? So while this is scanning in, um, one little tip for using Lacquer or RetroArch, I would put my uh, SD card that had Lacquer on it into my either my Mac or my Windows computer and both of them wouldn't allow me to have file access to the storage folder um, and uh, the system folder which is where you put the BIOS and uh, so I couldn't put ROMs on it but then if I tried if I put it in my Pi running Raspbian uh, it shows up as two folders uh, and you can actually drag all your different files uh, BIOS files, ROMs and things like that straight onto the card uh, but for some reason Windows, I tried Windows 8.1, I tried Windows 10 and uh, Mac OS and none of them would allow me access to it. Um, I tried uh, using uh, remote transfer um, and I could I could see all the files on there but it still wouldn't allow me to access the system file so my tip is to get the lacquer uh, SD card put it into a working version of Raspbian um, so, uh, you know, boot up Raspberry and put the USB uh, adapter in with the SD card in it and you'll find that you have access to pretty much all the files on there and you can just drag things over. So drag them over into the storage ROMs folder uh, and also the system folder for the BIOS files and that's just an easier way to do it and it's on a system you've already got because uh, Raspberry is free as long as you've got a spare SD card. Okay, so let's go back and see. Yeah, so all my Dreamcast games. Actually, not all of them are picked up. Well, let's try Crash Team Racing, but it, it wasn't working for me before. Um, I think it loaded up and everything. It just it crashed in a race.
Ah, there you go. So it quits out. It just um, it was a scratch disc I was trying to rip. Uh, it's an original disc, but it was uh, it was very it had a radial scratch on it. So uh, for some reason you get to certain points and it just quits out. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, I really enjoy the the PlayStation One. It is a great console, um, but uh, but also Dreamcast uh, coming up. That hopefully they will run well on this system. I may need to overclock, so I've got to look into that. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.